welcome to another chatty painting video. As you have seen on my IG, I did this portrait painting weeks back, but only got the time to edit the film recently. I actually got inspired by the Rivers of London series by Ben Aronovich and by the two characters there, Peter Grant and Thomas Nightingale. This is not a fan art of the book, but I'll give a little backstory about it. Um, no spoilers, but I'm just happy to share what I like and hopefully you'll pick up this book and like it too. Anyways, um, Peter Grant is a London cop and he is investigating a murder which led him to cross paths with Thomas Nightingale. And Nightingale apparently is the last officially sanctioned wizard in Britain. Uh, so after some series of events, uh, Peter um, became his uh, sworn apprentice and um, together they've begun um, investigating and solving murders in London. And eventually the ma magical community um, calls him um, Starling or Nightingale's Starling. So I love the book um, because it's a mix of genres that I like, uh, mystery, action, and magic. So each character is also slowly evolving and Ironovich likes to insert British pop culture like in Harry Potter, Doctor Who, here and there. The book is told in Peter's uh, point of view and he's so, so funny. So um, the Rivers of London series is a big recommendation from me. So if you're into um, reading books, then go ahead and pick this up and let me know if you like it. Um, I finished actually all the books in the main storyline. Um, unfortunately, the filler books that they have are not available in Kindle format. So that's very sad. I have to wait for November to get the next new book that's coming out. So anyways, um, sorry for that off topic. Just wanted to share with you something that I really like. And going back to this painting, that's why I mentioned the book because I decided to draw uh, Starting, which is a kind of bird um, with black, um, with black um, feathers, I would say. Um, so Starling is a black is a bird which I decided to incorporate here in my drawing because I was inspired by the Rivers of London series. So another thing that you might find interesting here uh, in this portrait is the paper that I use. This is actually Holbein Cluster. So I got it from Sekaido on my last visit to Tokyo. Uh, the watercolor pad is quite nice and very textured, as you can see here. But honestly, I prefer the Albireo, which is the smoother version of this paper. So if you're off to Japan and you're looking into um, you're looking in for new watercolor papers or watercolor materials to try, and you want to go to Sekaido, then I would suggest you try to pick up a Holbein. Um, watercolor pad, either the um, Albireo, the smoother one, or this this paper that I'm using, the cluster. So Oholbein is really such a good brand in my opinion. Both paints and papers are top-notch in quality. So here I'm also using um, Holbein paints. So most of, uh, for example, the, the starting bird that I'm painting here is actually, um, I'm using paints gray. So that's one of my staple in my watercolor palette. And um, another thing, I actually made a mistake here. It's not uh, as evident when you see it on video because I have cropped it. But actually the, the portrait that I did here is um, quite small. That's why I had to incorporate the, the florals, the floral elements. I, ha um, I wanted to do a portrait that um, that maximizes the paper but unfortunately that's not the case here so I had to draw more flowers in order to balance it because it's very small in the middle of a huge paper so that's okay um, sometimes you just gotta wing it so I also wanted to um, to let you know that I'll be going back to Japan yay and I'll be going to Osaka and I'm very very excited about it and I hope that I can um, do some short videos maybe and if I find an art store there I'll be sure to let you know 
um, so that on your visit to Saka, you can check it out. Here, I'm already detailing one of the starling birds. So when I researched the starling bird, it's actually a blackbird with specks of white. So one of the considerations here in this painting when I wanted to highlight the, the starling is that I made the portrait blonde. I made the girl blonde because the starling is a blackbird and I don't want it to um, to just blend in if I do like a brunette or a brown a brown haired girl. So normally I would normally I would paint a dark haired girl, but since I wanted the starling to, to pop, I decided to make her blonde. And also the the turquoise color that I use for her clothes and also for the other elements there are also to complement the blonde hair of the girl. So here I'm doing the peonies, um, very carefully doing each detail. So I'm mixing, if I remember correctly, I'm mixing yellow ochre here to give the brilliance. The yellow ochre is again Holbein brand, so I like the brilliance of the yellow ochre of Holbein. And I'm mixing it with Sennelier. Sennelier is also very uh, known for the vibrancy of their colors. And I particularly like the Rose Matter color. So here, I'm using um, a Van Gogh brush. I think it's around size, size maybe eight. So it's just perfect for um, blocking out all those colors. So if you can, uh, if you notice that I usually um, skip skip on different parts. So sometimes I'm painting the flower, and then sometimes I'm painting um, the other elements. So I usually like this because I have to wait for parts to be to dry out before I go over and add any more paint. So you have to be very patient when you're painting. Make sure you don't overdo it in one area. So again, here I am, I'm painting the leaves. So the leaves are, I believe, also Sennelier. They are sap green. So this time I've switched my brush. I am using now a uh, size 4, also a fan Van Gogh brush. So this is very nice for detailing. So this uh, watercolor pad is actually um, glued together so you have to use a cutter in order to uh, get one of the sheets off. So I do like it. It's like um, um, what you do when your watercolor pad is um, taped on a board so that's how it feels like when you're painting use, uh, on this paper. So here I'm slowly adding more values to each flower. You can see that I'm slowly building it up and I'll be adding more details um, when I feel that there's something missing. So I'm still using my uh, number four brush. Finishing up the other starling bird, so I'm using a combination of Payne's Grey and I think Burnt Umber since I don't want it to be like just a solid black. So adding to that, just adding a little bit more details to the other flowers. I like to keep my flowers very, very um, tight. So that's why I have to put a more um, Mineral Violet or paint Grey right in the middle so that they feel um, more clustered. So I'm adding more um, paint Grey to the Starling Bird. And finally, we are in the last Peony. Actually, um, I have a reference for, for this portrait in case you're wondering. 
Um, it's actually Taeyeon of Girls' Generation, but it doesn't look like her, and I, that's fine. If you're painting and it doesn't look like one of the characters that you're trying to achieve, I think that's alright, as long as it comes out nice. Besides, it's only um, a practice, so give yourself a pat on the back that it came out well. So now we're at the end of this portrait illustration. I'm just using my Uniball White Signal Pen to add little bits of highlights here and there. And also last minute, I decided I'd like to add more details on the turquoise blocks of colors that's over on her head and also on her clothing. So I hope you find this um, painting or chatty video useful and also fun to just hear me talk. And thank you for watching. See you again next time. Bye!